I, man, like, he can score. And I don't get why he just doesn't be aggressive more often. Like, he, he he's, he's a, like I told the media last time, I call him baby Russell Westbrook, man. Like, he, he's a he's a six five point guard, can do it all, he's very versatile. And I just think that if he keep this confidence up, nobody's going to be able to stop us because then we're going to bring along the Wayne Martins, the Mees, the the, uh, the Tez, the, our team, we got so, so many pieces and, and, it's just time to really put them together and uh, and really show people we're not paper tigers. Uh, you had to sit through last year, watch a, a tough season, yes, sir. eight and two right now. How how important is just winning games? I guess for this. Group? Uh, I wish I could put it into words. It's it's for real, for real. I really want to do it for Coach Ford because you know last year it was really rough for him and I, the team we had it was rough. So winning games right now, it just feel like. All right, we finally getting some results out of what we've been preaching and what we've been practicing. Last year, practicing with them guys, going through war with them guys, and not seeing the results pay off, it kind of was heartbreaking. So you know, it took it took a, a tough mindset to keep pushing through it. And now we're seeing results, so now we know we just got to keep pushing because we're going to get results. I was going to say, you win in double overtime the other night. Yeah. You, you come back, win a tight one tonight. You, you, you learning something? Yeah, about yes. It's, right it's, 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 it's the group in our locker room, the family. And it really starts with Coach Ford. Coach Ford, he'll, he'll curse you out, he'll talk bad about you, but at the end of the day, he got your back and he's a fighter. And he's never going to let anybody punch him in his face and he not fight for us. So it just it starts with him and then it trickles down through the assistant coaches, through our senior leader, and then through the rest of the unit. Even our bench, y'all probably don't realize it because people that probably don't watch the game, the bench is a big key to what we do. When the bench is not in it or when they when we losing, they always in our air. Come on, y'all pick it up. Y'all know y'all better than this. And the guys, uh, Trip Davis, Jalen Duke, Kylo Spencer, Armani Chaney, even though they think they should be playing, they, they buying into their role and helping us be a great team. So it is really compliments to the team and the guys we have in the locker room. That was not, I mean, the end was good, but the beginning was not. The first half was rough. Yes, um, sir. Did you feel individually more pressure on yourselves, or did you just feel mm -hmm. we can all do this together? I mean, what, how were those, those moments? You want to start? You want to start? I am, man. Uh, I feel like it, w it wasn't pressure. Like, throughout the whole game, like, I mean, Let's get one thing, sir. We know that uh, our legs are tied. We know, I mean, but we strong enough mentally to fight through it. We knew that we just had a, we got back to back to back games, but you know, our group mature enough to handle it and, and really get the proper rest. And it didn't start. It started off sluggish because you know, our group, our group of five guys, we play a lot of minutes collectively, and um, we just, we just know that now it's time for just rest more. And, and the next game, we will not come out like that. We will try to. Uh, Really, really take care of our bodies a little bit better and, and win this stretch that we have. Uh, first half, I really had to tip my hat to Lipscomb. The whole game, they're really a great team. And that Princeton offense is not a joke. Uh, it was really tiring guarding that Princeton offense. So it was just, they came out and punched us in our mouth is what they did. And being the team that we are, we just looked at each other and said, we're we going to make it. We're going to get through it. Uh, Halftime, we went in the locker room. We was down. They, was, they had the energy. And we like, this not us. This not what we stand for. So it's just making an adjustment to just go harder. It wasn't even about the X and O's, making shots. It was just playing harder. So they definitely, they're definitely a great team. They're going to have a great year. Mm -hmm. Ron, you, have, you don't have a big break before the next game, though. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you get recovered, get your legs back under you a little bit? <clears throat> um, we just ice bath and stretch and just get ready for the next game and just really prepare our mind more than anything. Try to stay off the extra working out for right now. And just really prepare our mind and, and, and really get ready, you know. And that's pretty much it. Did the tired legs explain your three point shooting? Uh, you, you, <laughs> sure, you can't give them excuses like yeah, that. You're you going to run with it. Yeah, no. No, I don't have no excuse. Uh, uh, I don't really know what I'm shooting from the field. I don't know nothing, nothing about that stuff, you know. I just know about the score, say 89 and 86. <laughs> I'm 0 for 6, but we got wins, and I think we 8 for 2, so I'm all right. <laughs> Step back three pointer from the wing. Was that an accident? Or he <laughs> oh no, he does that. That's what I'm saying. He like, just gotta, gotta be aggressive. Away from me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what he do, that's man. A big move, man. That's what he do, man. He just got he gotta keep doing it every time. He gotta have the uh, confidence in himself because he's a, a heck of a player. So, Tosh, you have a smile on your face. The whole time. I mean that. That typical for yeah, it's it down or yeah, it's just never it's never going to change. It start with my parents. It's just that's just me when you when you see me in the locker room, 
smiling. You see me running around smiling. I'm laughing, making jokes. This is how I live life. I enjoy life. And to play in games like this is just too much fun to be mad at anything. People right. would kill to have a, a chance like this. So why am I going to be mad at something that I'm getting to do that I love to do and go to school for free? So it's like nothing, like really not too much could affect me to make me not be smiling. Like I love my life. Like I'm enjoying myself. So it's just, it's just having fun. That's me. At any point, did it feel like you and Hampton were sort of going one-on-one -on -one there? I don't get in a one-on-one -on -one <laughs> battle. Probably on the defense end, if that's what you want to look at it, because I don't like the fact that he scored on me so much. That kind of, that kind of broke my heart. But, you know, it's just, it's not even a uh, one-on-one, because my team, my, my team has my back. Uh, he scored on me. I might not score, but KD will come down and shoot. Or And he, he missed shots today, but I'm going to keep giving him the ball every time. I don't care if he go 0 for 20 because his mindset is he 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 like he know he's going to make it. Like I joke with the bench. I say we need a medic because he has no conscience. Like he, he, he shoots the ball. That's what he, that, He's a scorer. So it's just it's a team. But that Hampton is a great guard. He's, I take nothing away from him. He is a great guard. So it was really – I really loved enjoying him because I love the defense and the playing against good competition. So that was, that was fun. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you all so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it.